I was VK2 PCT with an uh, add-on add to uh, my grab-and-go kit. Uh, it's come along quite a lot nicely. Uh, the 891 here, as you've seen before, FT, uh, uh, FTM uh, 300 uh, here from the UHF, VHF and C4FM. And uh, the FC50 and the new add-on of the uh, SWR power meter, which will show forward, reflective, actual power, and the uh, what the SWR is registering uh, for the antenna. I have that uh, in line between the antenna tuner and the antenna. So this will always show the true SWR. Uh, let's say we have a SWR at 2 to 1. I use the tuner to uh, bring it down to close to 1 to 1 impedance match for the radio to make the radio happy. The radio here will show it's at 1 to 1. This will always stay at 2 to 1 because it's between the tuner and the antenna. So that's showing me the true, true SWR. Uh, before it's um, the impedance is matched here to the radio. So I've got a, uh, a patch between the radio and the ATU. It comes out of the ATU into the meter, then out of the uh, meter, and then out to the um, uh, out to the uh, end. the back of the radio. This is the back of the radio. I've got some Anderson plugs in here. Uh, there's a double connection there to power both radios. Uh, this is a new add-on. Instead of carrying the old car battery around, I've got a life pole. Uh, 20 amp hour battery. These weigh next to nothing. I tell you, these are so light. Uh, I've got some two-sided tape just to hold that in place. Um, and you can—I don't know if you can see in the back there. It comes out of the back of the uh, out of the back of the um, 891. Comes down into the FC50. Out of the FC50, up into that new uh, LCD SWR power meter. Comes out of that and connects uh, up here on the HF. I've got a SO239. Got two of those. Uh, one RU blank. Uh, it was actually a cable management thing. I took the cable management off, drilled two holes, and put some SO239 through the back and uh, um, put the bulkheads on there. So now uh, I just unscrew these and I screw the antenna straight on because the radios are already connected. There's the UHF VHF. So uh, it's fully self sufficient now. When I need to, when I come back, I just chuck it on the uh, uh, lithium charger and uh, keep it charged and uh, ready for ready for action. At the moment I haven't got an antenna on there um, to show you it actually working but uh, uh, she's all ready to go. Uh, hopefully we'll get some dry weather and I'll take it out in the field and uh, and, and show you uh, how this works, what the SWR is and uh, what it is on the radio. But there's just a quick update on uh, the radio and where we're at with it. 73s and remember keep the bands alive by calling CQ, CQ and uh, no doubt someone's going to answer. 73s, all the best, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers for now.